Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try our hand at solving one of these examples. Here we have three lenses. The focal lengths of each of the three lenses are known. Notice that the one with the shortest focal length is the most powerful lens, and we'll see if that diverging lens overpowers the other two converging lenses. So as a triplet, does it appear as a converging or a diverging lens? Well, we're about to find out. So that means that the signs are very important when we utilize this equation. So here we have the total focal length is equal to the product of the three. So we have 10 times a minus 5 and times 20. Now it helps to leave the units off as long as you remember that you use all in centimeters or meters, whatever the units are, so that it looks a lot cleaner to work this out. Divided by 1 times 2, that would be 10 times a negative 5, plus 1 times 3, which would be 10 times 20 plus that would be 2 times 3 which is a minus 5 times 20 and let's see what that's equal to so this gives us a 50 times 20 that's a thousand that would be minus 1000 in the numerator divided by that would be minus 50 plus 200 and minus 100 so it would be equal to minus 1,000 divided by minus 150 plus 200. That would be plus 50. And so that would be equal to a minus 20. And now you add the units since we're dealing with centimeters. And notice that the total focal length of the three lenses combined have a negative number, a negative 20 centimeters, which means that the three combined act like a diverging lens, which means that the one diverging lens overpowered the other two converging lenses. Together, they act like a diverging lens with a focal length equals to minus 20 centimeters. Now, you may wonder, well, why would they want to do something like that? Why would they want to put three lenses there when you could simply replace it by a single lens of minus 20 centimeters? Well, the reason for that is that in a practical sense, when you have multi-lens systems like that, you tend to be able to reduce some of the aberrations that you could have or some of the misalignment or the misfocusing when you get away from the center part of the lens. Usually when you have multi-lens systems, you have a more clear picture and a better resolution than if you have a single lens with the same focal length. And that's sometimes why they put multi-lens systems in particular uh, cameras or, or, or things like where you need these lenses used. So anyway, that's how we find the equivalent focal length of a triple lens system.